drawn from the great free peoples of the earth, it gathered in the ancient ports of England to crowd upon the steel-encumbered ships. down to the ships. We'd done it plenty of times before, of course, on schemes and that kind of thing. They didn't tell us this was the big show. Might have been just another exercise. Some of the chaps cracked gags. They wasn't very comic, but we laughed. I think we all guessed. The general feeling was, OK, if this is it, let's get in there and get it over with. Waiting always got on my nerves. Even waiting for a bus, never could stand it. Well, after a bit, our ship found its place in the middle of all the rest of the stuff. And there we stayed, for days. They gave us the final briefing then. We knew what to do and how. They told us where and when. That's a briefing. I listened to every word, wrote it down in my head like a record, and it kept playing over and over again. Piece of beach in the morning. Ever since I became a soldier, they were getting me ready for this. Before, there had been time in front of me, protecting me. Now the time had worn away, and there were only a few hours left. In the morning, I'd have to face it. I tried to imagine how much fear I would have, you know, to keep me from doing my job. I suppose everybody else was wondering the same thing. Nobody said anything official, but all of a sudden the ship got much busier. Over the amplifier, the chaplain said he'd be saying mass at 18.30 hours. Funny, I don't think I ever believed, even after the final briefing, that the invasion was going to come off. Then a voice in the loudspeaker said, Men who wish to take their anti-seasick pills should take the first one now. That did it. 